I keep seeing questions asking if we should save our rave medals or spend them, so let's talk about it here today. What's going on Clash Bashers, Rocky here today, and today we're back on the Town Hall 13, guys. We are almost maxed out on this Town Hall 13. As a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and let's upgrade this bomb right here, and let's upgrade these walls using our elixir. But that's not what we're here to talk about. I mean, we'll get those other two builders busy, because we're going to be talking about the raid medals and the weekly deals i keep seeing people like asking if they should be saving their raid medals for something big or or if they should be spending them and here is my take on it since raid weekend is literally every weekend i am very pro spend your raid medals it's not like cwl medals where it comes once a month and you only get like 400 of them during raid weekend you get a decent amount i mean i guess it depends on your clan but for instance this last weekend i got 900 1133 raid medals which is a considerable amount now i know if your clan isn't as far or whatever you're not going to get as much but again you're going to get it every single weekend so i am very pro spend your raid medals but i guess that brings the next point what should you spend your raid medals on well in the trader he's gonna have weekly deals for you for the raid medals and one thing that hendo told me to buy every single week and i listen to hendo is the wall rings and honestly it makes a lot of sense it's gonna be 900 wall rings uh which honestly isn't that bad but you know that's about what we've been getting a little bit less than what we've been getting per week so it makes a lot of sense because especially like on an account like this like we're gonna have a ton of walls left over so this will allow me to just get a few walls up every single week and honestly you don't have to really grind too hard now it really depends on like your situation here but i like training potions but honestly like you can get three training potions for 25 gems i like the training potions quite a bit uh the resource potion is actually a really good value if you think about it but it's you also have to wait and make sure you don't let it overfill so i just like going wall rings and honestly like i'm the kind of guy to just go ahead and buy some gold right here with our raid medals yeah i'm, I'm that guy so we'll just go in here we'll get those raid medals and then we can upgrade these last few buildings but besides that i mean there's a whole lot you can do with these uh as far as like your options especially if you're a new town hall level you got power potions and hero potions in there which is gonna be really nice if you have a lot of lab upgrades you can get the research potions and every week this stuff's gonna refresh like i said i do like the wall rings especially you know my accounts near the end but like even the gold elixir dark elixir is pretty good values in here guys so use this to your advantage i mean even the builder gold builder elixir isn't bad if you don't have that six builder or if you're trying to work towards that six builder and i mean for this account we're not that far off i mean our mega tesla's at level eight are our battle machines at level 23 okay we have quite a bit of work what level are our, our cannon carts are our cannon carts oh wait we got to get our laboratory up we have okay guys we have a lot of work i actually have to fill or upgrade the storage so i can even have enough space to upgrade that mega tesla but that's something that can come in handy really nice. I'm going to save our elixir because we, we have a lot of elixir upgrades to do. Now, I'm not going to go and make a set like guide. This is what you need to buy with these raid medals. But I, I think it kind of depends on where you are in your town hall level. I mean, since I'm towards the end, wall rings make a lot more sense for me. Again, if you're at the beginning, the power potion, hero potions going to make a lot more sense for you. Or if you just need a little bit of elixir, dark elixir or something to get an upgrade going, that'll make sense as well. But we're, we're trying to get this. Uh, we, we're going to have four bombs left, guys. Guys, that's gonna be our last four upgrades minus the walls on this one wrong wrong thing we don't want to go to builder base we want to go over here but i guess the the thing that's going to coincide with that is trying to get the most out of it i mean you can see xr almost got 20k right there sky was at 19k jj at 19k so you really want to try to get the most out of your raid medals and how do you do that well, practicing guys and honestly guys if i'm not doing videos for you guys i'm usually not practicing builder base i'm working on my home base attack so let's get a little practice in here at the end of the video because i think we made our point right uh just use your your medals on what you need but don't i don't think you need to save them is the real big point i'm trying to get at i don't think there's a need to save them uh, even like CWL medals, like you really don't need to save them. I'm really pro like upgrade your base, get it upgrading. Now at the higher town hall stuff is going to be more expensive. So if you're like a town hall eight, maybe you're not going to go buy a bunch of hammers and stuff because you don't really need to. But if you're a lower town hall, like spend your CWL medals also. Like it just makes a lot of sense to spend that stuff. It's resources in the game to help you upgrade quicker. I want to show you guys the strategy JJ was showing me. 
Uh, and that's what we're doing here. So the first part of this attack is just setting up the pathing. We're going to be running mass hog riders here. Yeah, mass hog riders. It's pretty wild. So the first uh, setup, we're just going to try to get out as much of the splash as possible. So that's what we're going to do here with these archers. Just try to get as much of these splash defenses out. And then on our second attack, we're going to come in with our hog riders. Honestly, on a wizard valley, I just use both hog riders and it worked out really nicely but jj said bash take your time get that splash out you'll have a higher rate of success and the really the only splash on wizard valley are these cannons and i think this attack is optimal for wizard valley that's why i wanted to show it off right here for you guys so again we're just going to take our time let these gals work through there i think what we're going to do is we're going to actually run our second rage through there just setting up for those hog riders a little bit later all right you see what we're doing there we're just we're just getting everything ready for later guys because these archer gals will be able to get through there and get this all taken care of no problem oh trust me they're they're professionals or something someone someone here is a professional i think maybe wait hold on i think i'm supposed to be the professional but first attack just get as much of the splash out as possible for this we could get to both the giant like why are both of our, our giant mega cannons i always forget what they're called why are they both back here on this base we need oh man why what's up with our base but we could get those down and then we're just gonna get some of this stuff out just for the funneling because i'm basically gonna run all the hogs right up the middle of this base here Hopefully that makes sense, uh, but I mean, it's pretty exposed, it's pretty open, so it makes sense that we're gonna run all of our hogs through here, and we're gonna use heal spells. So we get, actually, a really sick opener, but we got a lot of defenses in the middle here. Let's go ahead and end, because that barbarian would just beat on a wall. But we can go back through here, and we can go something like this, and what you wanna pair with these guys, and, and this might seem weird, it's just a few camps of minions. And this is just so that you can clean up the base, all right? We got 14 hogs, and we're just gonna go really nice in here. We're gonna go hog, 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 and just work through here. Uh, since we did catch a log trap, I'm gonna go ahead and heal them. Also, we'll be getting some splash from those wizard, uh, super wizard towers. So we're gonna go ahead and heal them through there. And then as we're kind of working through here, you do wanna be aware of like, uh, you know, the flying hogs are going to go over, and then the uh, the ground hogs are going to have to find somewhere to enter. So that's something to keep in mind as well. It's a little bit weird, but this is what we're going to do. We're just going to clean this base up just like this, work through here, and we should get pretty close to the three-star. Cannon carts are going to be a little bit annoying, but again, I think this is going to be the optimal attack for Wizard Valley, guys. Uh, especially if you heal really well, I think you're going to be in a really nice situation. We really don't need too much cleanup here. Uh, yes, yeah, so this, this is going to be crushed. And we're going to two-piece our own Wizard Valley. I'm exposing uh, ourselves out. We need to change this layout. Uh, note to someone, JJ, change this layout. But, like, our last raid weekend, I hit a two-piece using the hog right or hog uh, raiders because it's just such a nice unit to use and you don't even have to like go and get all the splash out just get some of that splash out and heal really well you'll be fine trust me look at that three star beautiful so that's what i mean by practice you want to practice so the more two two hit attacks you get the better uh, and again if you're lower obviously you're not going to have that we're also getting to a nice little point where we're getting our army camps upgraded so things are going really well uh we're gonna probably be streaming tonight probably about 8 9 p.m eastern time here on youtube and over on my twitch twitch.tv slash clash bashing so if you guys want to check that out i'm going to be doing live legends attacks on my main account and on cb just so we have something to do on there so hopefully i'll see you guys there you guys have a great day keep on clash bashing